Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to compute the internal rate of return, IRR. If a company invests 20,000 in one machine, and the following internal annual profits can be expected, with all profits reported at the end of the accounting year. Assume that the machine has a useful life of 5 years and a selling price of 5,000. What would be the internal rate of return on this investment? We are given the profit at the end of the first year is 5,000, profit at the end of the second year is 6,000, profit at the end of the third year is 4,000, profit at the end of the fourth year is 3,000, profit at the end of the fifth year is 2,000 plus the selling price of 5,000. Now to evaluate the internal rate of return, this is had to do with the future value of the investment at the end of the fifth year. So first of all, the future value of withdrawing 20,000 from the bank to make the investment is minus 20,000 times 1 plus R power 5, where R is the bank interest rate. The reason is because when you withdraw 20,000 from the bank, you not only lost 20,000, you also lost the future interest. That's why the total interest together principal you lost is minus 20,000 times 1 plus R raised power 5. Now, at the end of first year, you receive a profit of 5,000. Assume that you, de you deposit this 5,000 into the bank at R percent. The future value of this 5,000 will be 5,000 times 1 plus R raised power 4. At the end of second year, you receive 6,000. Assume that you, your 6,000 is deposited into the bank immediately. Then, this 6,000 will be stay in the bank and earn interest for 3 years. Therefore, the future value of this 6,000 will be 6,000 times 1 plus R is power 3. Continue this process. We know that 4,000, the future value will be 4,000 times 1 plus R square. For the income of 3,000, the future value 3,000 times 1 plus R. Fifth year, you will receive 7,000 altogether. To compute the internal rate of return, the total future value has to be equal to zero. That means that, that means that 20,000, right? That means that 20,000 times 1 plus R raised to the power 5 must be equal to 5,000 times 1 plus R raised to the power 4 plus 6,000 plus 1 plus R power 3 plus 4,000 times 1 plus R power 2 plus 3,000 times 1 plus R power 1 plus 7,000. So, to solve this equation, this is not easy. Now, the cash flow FX 991ES allow you to solve this by using the solve button. Now, however, because I don't have the emulator, I'm going to solve them by a graphing calculator first. So this is the equation I want to solve. I call up my graphing calculator. So I'm going to use a run menu after I call up the calculator, execute, and then I will press option, then calculus, F4 for calculus, and then I'm going to use solve for F1, F1 to solve. And the equation I'm going to solve is 20,000, all right, this 20,000 here, times raised to the power, times minus, so minus 20,000 times 1 plus x, I'm going to use x here, raised to the power 5, then plus 5,000 times open bracket 1 plus x raised to the power 4 plus 6,000 times open bracket 1 plus x close bracket raised to the power 3. Then plus 4,000 
terms open bracket 1 plus x raised to the power 2 plus 3000 times open bracket 1 plus x then plus 7000 is equal to shift equal to 0 comma close the packet so press execute you find that x equal to 0 0.0718468 r equal to 7.845 7 plus 7 By using the time value of money function. Let me go to the menu and then move down the menu to time value of money. Execute and then I'm going to select F3 for cash flow. F3 for cash flow and then I'm going to build the list. The list I'm going to use F5 to build the list. Ah, the investment initially is 20,000. Then at the end of first year, we see 5,000. At the end of second year, we see 6,000. At the end of third year, we see 4,000. At the end of the fourth year, we see 3,000. At the end of the fifth year, we have 7,000. So after enter the data, I'm going to press exit. And then come down and I want to find the internal rate of return. The list is in list one which I entered already. Now I'm going to press F2 for internal rate of return. F2, you find that the 7.84568% which is the same as the calculation earlier. If the bank interest rate is more than 7.84568%, then you shouldn't take the money out and invest because the bank actually gives you a good interest rate. Now, if the bank interest rate is less than IRR, then you should withdraw the money and make the investment because this investment will give you a better return than earning the interest from the bank. If the bank interest rate is more than IRR, which is 7.84%, then Keep the money in the bank. All right. However, if the bank interest rate is less than IRR, which is 7.845%, then withdraw and make the investment. Right? Withdraw from the bank. and make this investment and this is the how we use the IRR thanks for watching